Let's go. Come on. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Let me Welcome put... to Tampa. Howdy, howdy. Let me turn this around here. I'll be the camera guy. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what's going on, Will? Why don't you introduce who everybody is? All right, so this is Jeremiah, this is Coley, and this is Ryan, all with Alliance RV. Wonderful. Some of my favorite people. So yep. You guys know that I love the Alliance brand. Yep. So we are going to take a look at the Valors. We haven't been able to show a lot of the Valors yet because, you know, they're, they're starting to trickle into the dealership. But I think we have all of them here, don't we? Yeah, we have all four here. We have all four floor plants here. We've got, I know you guys did a video the other night on yep. the 36 e 11 Yep. We wanted to kind of walk through some of the other floor plans here so you can just take a quick peek cool. and then we want to welcome everybody out here to the show this week. we got five full days and all three of us will be here for the entire show and look forward to uh, walking a number of customers through the unit. So Perfect. Let's start behind you. This is one of my favorites. So yeah. Which one? With this one. This is the uh, 42V13. So what I really like about it is the, uh, the side patio here. Mm -hmm. But I'll let Jeremiah take over if you want. Yeah, absolutely. So this is the latest floor plan that we came out with and developed at, uh, on the Valor line. 42B13, 13 foot garage, side patio, floor plan. A couple unique things that we've done here. Um, in the inside, we'll take a look. So one of the biggest questions that we've been asked with toy haulers is, hey, well, the people are wanting a dinette, a dedicated dinette um, in the eating space. So that's what we've gave, we've provided here in this floor plan. Wow. So not only do we have the three seat sofa, we've got the dedicated dinette, we've got a huge pantry, floor to ceiling pantry, plenty of stuff to put things, um, nice glass overhead uh, cabinet doors, full size residential range. Um, full size microwave. Turkey tested. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. That's right. Very nice. Um, so just good overall layout. You know, you got the nice big bay window staring in front of the sink, which was stuff that we've picked up off of uh, so a lot of our um, Facebook friends and family. Um, 13 foot garage, unobstructed. You do have a nice oversized half bath back here. Very nice. Yeah, look at that, and that's a good pl placement. Um, it was crazy when Will and I did the Valor video the other day. Uh, you got two prime pooping positions, yeah. and that never happens in a bath and a half anything, that's you know. Right. So it, it it was a great placement, which is really really nice. Sweet. Um, other thing we'll note out in the other floor plans that we walk through because this one's still uh, yeah. We're still wrapping it's pre show day. It's pre show day. Now let me ask you about this. So when we did the review, I was really impressed by your tracks right there. Is anybody else doing that that you know of? Uh, not that I know of, no. And that's so smart because everybody does – listen, guys. Everybody's doing these D-rings that are 6 and 12 inches apart. Where this, it looks like you can hook it, hook up your toys every 2 inches probably. Absolutely. Total adjustability back here. So no matter what the size of the toy, how many motorcycles they may or may not have, um, just – very ease of use back here. Perfect. How many floor plans do we have in the Valor? Uh, we've got four floor plans, all of them here at the show. Yes. Yeah. Guys working hard this week. I, I know there were some, uh, there were some comments on the epoxy tops. So I just want to take talk, a quick talk to us. To talk <laughs> the rebuttal. The rebuttal. So as you guys know, the epoxy tops uh, we've been using day one up in the uh, Paradigm uh, bathrooms. We also use it around the door frame. And we love it. We like the look. We like the versatility of it. Uh, it's been proven uh, with, uh, you know, with the paradigm to be very versatile. So given that it's a big weight savings to incorporate a mm. in place of the traditional solid surface, we went ahead and chose that. We think uh, having more weight dedicated for cargo is weight, uh, you know, better spent. That Perfect. With some heavy countertops. So did want to address that with you guys. I know that came up in your last walk around. So Leave down in the comments below. Let us know what you guys think. <laughs> and they look cool. Come on. That's yeah. exactly right. Cool. Did you guys talk about the Master of the 12 volt? Oh, we have not. All right, Jeremiah. I took that for sure. That's a big, big talking point. Yeah, absolutely. So as every single one of our uh, units is, we want to be known as the Master of the 12 volt. We feel that electric is where the, the future is and where it's going. Um, nobody gives you more 12 volt functions than what you're going to find with the Alliance Valor uh, product line couple things that notable differences that we've done so we've started out on the top of the coach we've added two 320 watt standard solar panels okay in addition to that we have a standard lithium ion battery 100 amp hour we've got a 40 amp charge controller um, to co continuously charge that that product or to charge that battery the other nice thing that we put into layman terms is this battery monitor panel 
So if you look at it right now, but with the screen blinking the way that it is, we've got currently 33 hours and 13 minutes with the lights on the way that they are right now. If you start shedding power, you'll notice that the lights or that your uh, your time frame, yes, energy usage is going to start going up over time. So it puts into layman terms how uh, how much energy that the end consumer has on that battery power, how much uh, sunlight that they're grabbing from those solar panels. So oh, hang on a second. Power. We're spinning. We're back live. We're back live. All right. All right. So yeah, your energy system cut us all off. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all those waves going through yeah, radioactive. Um, so I don't know where it cut off, but two 320 watt standard solar panels on every single unit. We've got a 40 amp charge controller, a standard lithium 100 amp hour battery to get that customer with the best possible energy experience going forward. Um, with that, we have more 12 volt functions than any other brand out there. We have a 12 volt powered uh, TV in your bedroom, in your garage area. We have a brand new 17 cubic foot 12 volt uh, refrigerator, which we're really excited about. Uh, not only is it lighter weight, it's got a deeper so you can store, you know, pizzas. It's got plenty of shelves on the inside of it. Um, it cools down faster than what you'd see on a gas electric refrigerator. Um, in addition to that, we've got 12 volt recliners in the unit. Um, plus all the other things that you'd see, like the LED lighting, your radio, all of that is also standard with 12-volt power. And all of that, you're saying standard, as in it's not an option? Uh, absolutely not. An and see, that that's huge. So, you know, what a lot of times what dealerships will do, that they'll advertise that they're $5,000 cheap because they didn't get that option. And so that's nice that it's not an option, it's a standard. Absolutely. Cool. Uh, somebody's asking if we have a 385 here at the show. Well, that's a great question. Yes, we do. Our first one is here at the show. Can we see it? Well, no. Okay. Not yet, in about 35 minutes. Yes, at 4 o'clock, if you go to the Alliance RV Group Facebook page, we will have a Facebook Live coming up here in about 45 minutes. So stay tuned, and we'll be walking through that floor plan. Perfect. Okay. Alliance RV Group is the Facebook page. 4 yep. o'clock. 4 o'clock. Let's take a look at some other floor plans that we have here for All the right. uh, Valors. So right here, we got our 41V15. Um, one thing I'd like to note is all of the, the nomenclatures after the V designate the garage size. So right here we had the 42 V13 side patio, 13 foot garage. 41 V15, 15 foot garage. So this is going to fit any and all of those um, ATVs that you'll see in the industry right now. So oversized garage fitting, you know, any of the four seats side by sides comfortably. Um, <laughs> Some of the things with this floor plan that we did to make it special, we flip flop the refrigerator and the stoves and what you've traditionally have seen. It gains you access to that nice 17 cubic foot um, refrigerator. So all LED lighting. You got a massive pantry. Look at the storage in this thing. I mean, it's super important that when customers are looking at the products that they open all the doors. Mm -hmm. So many of them, you open up a door to like a four inch deep cabinet. Um, to where that's not the case here. You got plenty of room, plenty of storage. You got the nice little coffee bar over here with an electrical outlet. Plenty of storage right here. Um, both sides, you know, every single inch of this thing, you know, we talk about innovative storage solutions. Like there's not a space left unturned here. And here's Even what I'm impressed with. You have a 15 foot garage here, right? Yep. But you guys were still able to put a half bath as well. Yep, half bath, unobstructed, so it's not coming into. A lot of the manufacturers now are putting the, the garages in, or the bathrooms in the garage to where it gets an awkward placement or that, you know, it makes it tough to fit that side by side. All glass, three seasons patio doors, patio package, fully equipped. Um, as you uh, talked about on that 36 V11, you know, the dual entrances to the bedroom, bathroom, um, nice big front closet. I mean, you got so much storage up here. Very nice. Crazy. And, and my favorite, it's just that third window. It's, it's little stuff like that 
That really gets me excited. Soft closed drawers in here. And the Valors, they're still doing the Asdale sidewall composite, correct? Yeah, that is correct. Absolutely. Perfect. Got a lot of carryover features. The JBL sound system, super cool, super loud. It's got a subwoofer behind the couch to just um, increase the acoustics. The overhead storage, even above the sofas, a lot of people are getting away from this. You know, just trying to make sure that every space... Um, the flip up countertop, we got spots to put your um, oh. bar stools. So everything's got a home, you know. We don't want to let anything laying on the floor, leaving it up to them to strap down. Nice. You know how easy that works. Um, cup holders and all of the and let's go over here. Will, you need you to stand in the doorway in the garage. We need a we need a man, a corn fed a corn fed man. Stand here. Yep. A man. A man. Okay, so uh, but when you walk in, did you have to duck your head? A little bit, yeah. Just a little bit, but you're gonna have Not to do that idea. for anyone. Yep. And then real big beds right there. Cool. How many more floor plans do we so have? We got a forty B thirteen. We'll go take a look at. Also, which we're getting the key, we got an air compressor on board, every single one that'll inflate the tires of your unit. Goes okay. 110 PSI. Um, and then that's the third, I'm sorry to interrupt. That's the 36 V11 that we just did a video on the other day. Make sure you guys check out that video after this live broadcast. That's correct. And then you got your uh, 40 V13. So again, the V13, 13 foot garage, outdoor entertainment, um, refrigerator, exterior speakers, dual awnings on every unit. This one's really nice, like the U shaped kitchen. Wow. It's crazy. We're in a toy hauler, folks. And you have the double sofa area. And look at that rear kitchen. That is so nice. And then is this statue? That's standard. <laughs> Art Deco. <laughs> Very nice. Um, again, so much cabinet space. I love the full reveal on the doors. Mm. Very residential cabinet. I haven't styling. seen that yet. I haven't seen you that. Don't see a lot of styles. Like it, styles are very RV. We've we've taken a lot of that out to where you've got full reveal doors and drawers. Um, again, like we talked about, 17 cubic foot refrigerator, the flush floor slides, 13 foot garage. And are, is all your Valors coming bath and a half right now or no? Uh, everyone that we've built has a bath and a half. That's wow, right. really nice. Absolutely. And then none of them I'm seeing is taking up the garage area like right not there. Not one. We have not put a bathroom in the garage yet. You have that TV that does this weird drop down yeah, thing. Yeah, isn't that nice? Good viewing angle no mm -hmm. matter where you're at. Again, 12 volt powered TV like I was talking about. Oh. Package. And we do want to make a correction. I said it was a propane generator, and it's a gasoline generator. It is a gas Onan 5.5. There you go. Insulated garage floor. Then let's take a look at this bedroom area up here. Very nice. Very nice. Really big showers. Love you know. the east-west beds. What Will and I have been working on for the past couple days is the top five Matt's RV Reviews Awards. And when we go into these toy haulers, a lot of them shortcut that bathroom there. Yeah, Howdy. Howdy, Linda. Time. Yeah. You know, even the shower, like you pointed out yesterday, it's a, it's a nice 48 by 30 inch shower. Yeah. Any more floor plans or was it just these it's four? Just just these four. Okay. So everything that we build is currently at the show, both in Paradigm and in the Valor product line. Perfect. There's Will over there. Did you show them all? Yep. Okay. Can we please see the 385? Uh, you will be able to see it in about a half hour. In about a half hour, RV, folks. Alliance <laughs> RV uh, Group Facebook page. Yes. Make uh, sure. The unveiling of it. Yep. Make sure you guys check out the Alliance Facebook page. Uh, they're going live in about 30 minutes, and they're going to do the, the world debut of the 385 Front Living, which Will and I did have a chance to check it out, and it is pretty impressive. So make sure you guys go over to that after the live chat. 
We're going to go live every day during the Tampa RV show and we're going to show you all the different manufacturers, not just Alliance, but we're going to show you all the different displays and everything. So make sure you guys are liking, smashing the thumbs up button and make sure if you guys are in the market for a fifth wheel toy haul or a fifth wheel, make sure you join the Alliance Facebook group. Uh, these guys, they do a great job reading the comments and listening to customers' feedbacks. They haven't been doing it this way for the last 45 years and that's the way that it is. You know, they really they really make their brand around their customers. And so that's something that Will and I really do like. Yeah, no, we appreciate it. Uh, we have six people from the factory down in Tampa this week. So if anybody's in the area and wants to come out and uh, see the units and meet us, we'd uh, love the opportunity to meet you guys. Perfect, awesome. Question, are we gonna be reviewing the 385 FL? When does uh, Ocala get one? Uh, what do you think, Jeremy? Uh, probably two months. Yeah, so we, we started scheduling them in uh, late February. So I, I think they'd start showing up on dealer lots late February, early March. So uh, maybe if Will and I sneak in here one morning at like <laughs> 6 a.m., we might be able to get one done. We don't know. We don't know. Shoot, we don't know what we're doing next week, you know? Yeah. Um, but that's it. Make sure you guys come visit us. We will be at the Nexus RV display in a bright orange tent that says Matt's RV Reviews. How many people do we have watching, Mo? 115. Awesome. 14. Thank you, absolutely, everybody. Again, if you want to see the all-new Alliance Paradigm, check out their Facebook group right now. Alliance, what's it called? Alliance RV Group. Perfect. Very good. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. Right. See ya.